Hello, welcome to another video of our channel. Here we translate testimonies of people who have gone through near-death experiences. Today we are going to know the story of Aaron, he tells that he had a motorcycle accident and started to float. He saw from above the exact spot where one of his friends dropped his helmet. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. Turn on the notification bell to be notified with each new video. Now let's listen to Aaron's testimony. Well, it all happened on a Saturday afternoon. It was July 1992. I used to ride my motorcycle on weekends along the slopes around town. I would get together with a group of 15 friends and travel with them about 300 kilometers. It was a very beautiful trip, we stopped at some points to photograph, eat and talk. It was always a party. I woke up very early, prepared a backpack with basic things, water, a thermos with coffee, the camera. We'd meet at a gas station just outside the city. This time was not different. We met at the post at 7 a.m. We chatted a little, had a few cups of coffee, ate some cookies and got on the bikes to hit the highway. Until halfway through, everything was fine. We reached the top of one of the most beautiful slopes in the region and stopped to rest and enjoy the scenery. From that point forward the road was very winding, the various dangerous curves required a greater level of attention. I wanted to get to the next city soon, so I was the first to get on the bike to continue the journey. When the group saw that I was leaving, they got on their bikes and hit the road as well. In one of those winding turns, I came across a car that was making a dangerous overtaking, it had invaded my lane. We didn't have time to stop, we collided head-on. I rolled over the car and fell forward a few feet. I blacked out immediately. A group of five friends followed close behind. One of them stopped the motorcycle quickly. At this point I had already started to float, I was seeing everything from above. He was running towards the accident. After running about 10 meters, my friend dropped his helmet on the side of the road. There was a slope from the side of the road to some trees. The place where he threw the helmet had a large pine tree. The helmet rolled down the slope and stopped when it hit some rocks. But my friend wasn't paying attention, he was very worried about what had happened to me. I was in ecstasy, I had never felt anything like it. I felt free and it felt like my consciousness was expanding. I felt connected with the wind, with the sun, with the trees. It was a wonderful feeling. I disconnected a little from that accident scene and started to fly over that beautiful slope. It is a rocky valley through which a very beautiful river flows. I went down and flew low over those crystal clear waters, I always wanted to get close to that river. I thought then, can I fly to space? Immediately, I started to climb. I went through the clouds and soon I began to see a large spot of light. It was stunning. The center emitted a bright white light, but there was a multicolored luminous aura. I started flying towards this great portal of light. As I got closer I felt that there was a force barring my way. Then a voice spoke to me, this is your limit, that's what the voice said. At that moment I realized that I was still trapped in the earth, I couldn't cross the portal. Then something started pulling me. I went back downstairs, got to the crash site. There was already a group of doctors and police. I saw my body on a stretcher so I tried to get in. I felt like I wasn't fitting in well. Until I managed to fit the head, but the rest was still not well fitted. It was as if I had a spiritual body that had not fully entered the material body. But when I managed to fit the head I started to have control over the vocal folds. So I said, I'm fine, I just need to fit in. My friend said that at that time he thought I was talking about a dislocated limb. 
After that I was able to move my spiritual arm and fit into the material arm, so I felt like I was fully engaged. I was taken to the hospital and underwent many tests. I had suffered a concussion but was recovering well. The next day I received a visit from a group of friends. Among them was the one who had dropped his helmet on the way. We started to remember everything that happened. He said that at the time of the accident, he threw the helmet somewhere and couldn't find it anymore. So I told them everything I had lived. I said that I floated and saw everything from above, that I skimmed the river that runs between the slopes. And I told him I saw exactly where he had left his helmet. They obviously thought I was delusional, that the blow to the head had given me hallucinations. I told him to go to the crash site and look for a big pine tree, about 10 meters before the crash happened. It's the only pine tree there. And I told him to look at the slope behind the pine tree, the helmet would be there, leaning against some rocks. It's an easily accessible location, but it's a little hidden. Since it's not a place with parking space, I was pretty sure I'd still be there. He didn't want to go all this way to check but I didn't get it out of my head. The next day I was discharged. They picked me up at the hospital and asked what I wanted to do to celebrate my recovery. I said I would like to go to the accident site. They did not deny the request of a friend who had just been injured. I went on the back of the helmet owner. We arrived within 10 meters of the site, I pointed to the pine tree. So far, no surprise. We got off the bikes. As we approached the tree, we saw something red glowing on the slope. So we went down and there it was, leaning against a rock, the helmet. Everyone was astonished. For me this experience was very revealing. I was completely skeptical. I was raised Catholic, but I thought it was all bullshit. But when I was out of the body, connected with nature, I got a little glimpse of what we are in essence. And when that voice spoke to me, I had the feeling that it was a superior being. Maybe I have heard the voice of God? I don't know, but I've come to believe in the afterlife and in the existence of a spiritual hierarchy. So, what did you think of this testimony? Leave your impressions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's bring more people the hope that there is life beyond what the eyes can see.